Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. Today, I want to talk about five reasons to live in the now and take each day as it comes. This can really help to ease our stress levels because when we are anxious, we tend to look out into the future, but not in a positive way. So bringing ourselves back to the here and the now and living in the present moment can really be helpful to us. And here's five reasons that will help you want to do that more. It's easy to get caught up in planning our future. We all need to plan. We all need to look forward and make our goals and plans And it's important, but too much attention and time spent uh, in the future can really inhibit our ability to focus on the here and now. We can actually get stuck in the habit of looking forward only. So right now, at this very moment, you can begin to enjoy your everyday life, the one that's right here flashing unnoticed right before your eyes. You can enjoy it more. Let the future come naturally and live joyfully and willingly in the present moment. I want to say that again. Let the future come naturally as it's going to and live joyfully and willingly in the present moment. So here's five reasons that will help you want to stay living in the present moment, in the here and now. Each day we get older, right? This is the first one. Each day of our life, we are growing and moving forward, whether we want to or not. This is not a decision we make. This is life. And each day of our life has the ability to be a unique, precious, different day that only happens once. Every moment of every day, we get the chance to make a lasting memory, to make something happen inside ourselves. This doesn't mean something grand. This means just happiness, peace, tranquility. Create these feelings and memories that you will want to live from and share with other people in your life. We only get that one chance of each moment. And if you're concerned about the future, you can start paving the road for it today. And wouldn't our future be lovely if we were peaceful, tranquil, feeling positive and wanting to make good changes? That all happens. And that road that we want to pave for our future starts today, right in this moment by living our lives to its fullest degree at this very moment, at whatever way you can, in the capacity that you can. This doesn't mean that your life and your present moments are going to look like somebody else's. No, this is only for you. Live within your own capacity, but make it positive. Pave that road for the future with the amazing thoughts that you can have today. The second one I have is that you can replace your worry with contentment because we all know that the future is coming and that the future is uncertain. Uncertainty is a part of life. We can't change that. It is learning to become a little bit more comfortable with that uncertainty that will give us more peace. By focusing on today rather than tomorrow, though, you'll be able to inherently stop worrying 
about what's to come and focus on enjoying your reality. This is the reason that we focus on gratitude. It is the way that we can see in our present moment what is working, what we are happy about, and there is always something there. And we have to take the time and the effort to find it and to think about it and to maybe write it in our journal. Another good reason to live in the present moment or the now is that you get to know yourself. You get to know your wants, your needs, and your interests much better because you're actually spending time with you in the present moment. And our wants, needs, and interests are constantly evolving. And if we're wrapped up in planning for tomorrow, we may never truly get to know the person that we are today. By actually spending time with yourself and defining yourself in the here and now, you're able to truly figure out what you want. What do we want? We can only figure that out by being with ourselves in the present moment. It's common to be so deep in nurturing and planning for the future that we've created many years even ago without realizing that it's far different than our ideal life. We may not even be living the life that we want because we're living the life that we planned. We forgot to be in the present moment and be with what we are now. That will keep us ever evolving. It keeps us fresh. And so really pay attention and see if you can spend some time to see who you are today, not the person that you planned to be today or the person that you are planning to be tomorrow or in the future, but today, what are your likes, dislikes? Spend some time with yourself. It will be illuminating, I am sure. Another reason to spend time in the present moment is that you get to spend actually more quality time with your loved ones. You are in the present moment with them. If you're a parent, you know better than anyone that uh, how fast time goes and how precious those moments of having young children disappear in a blink of an eye. One moment you have little babies and the next moment you're at high school graduations. It really does happen quickly. Um, and it happens in all of our relationships like that. So what we want to do is to spend time with our relationships, children, loved ones, uh, parents, si uh, siblings, our mates. We want to spend time with them in the present moment because this moment will never happen again. And we want to spend it by being aware, by being mindful, by being in the present moment in our mind, right? When we are with them, not planning what we're going to say when they finish talking, not what we're going to have for dinner tonight or do at the grocery store. But when we are with those loved ones that we are focused, mindful, and being aware of the moments that we are with them, it really changes everything. And I hope that I will hear from you when you have tried some of these things. But I do have one more for you. Another reason to spend more time in the present moment is that you will experience all that life has to offer. We get one life to live. It's important to maximize every moment by not by putting out more effort. That sounds exhausting, right? To maximize every moment. No, it's actually quite simple. What we want to do is to simply experience the moment that we're in. And that is 
taking advantage of what we have right now by not deferring to what could be in the future and what we could, um, uh, you know, work towards. And of course, we have our goals. We even have visualizations when we sit down sometimes and close our eyes and want to see where we want to be and actually, in our mind, put ourselves in that place right at that moment. That's a practice. That's different. When we are with people, places, and things in our lives, let's experience them in that moment by not being in our minds in the future. We want to experience it fully. And that, just by being aware of where you are and what you are doing, by being mindful, by being in the present moment, you are just living your life more fully. You are experiencing and maximizing that very moment without any extra effort. So take advantage of what you have right now and experience it fully. Life is beautiful. It's joyous. It has its ups and downs. We all have that. And it is also meaningful in ways that we haven't even explored yet by being off in the future. So many meaningful things happen in our everyday existence, and we can experience that if our mind is no longer trapped in the future. When we are in the trapped in the future, all of these events and experiences, conversations and simple moments slip by before we're even able to notice that they're gone. See if you can't find yourself being more present each day. Make little reminders for yourself. Maybe a little question, am, where am I? Am I in the now or am I in the future? Um, even just the word presence on your desk can help you come back to the moment that is actually here. And yes, we're doing our work. We can do our work in the present moment. Be fully in it. You might be surprised at how more creative you can feel, how you can feel more able to handle what is happening versus worry. Because what happens when we worry? We are concerned about what this is going to mean in the future. And when we are in the present moment, we eliminate that. And we are able to use our resources in the here and now. And now for today's quote. The perfect is the enemy of the good. And that's from Voltaire. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at theanxietycoachespodcast.com.